You may notice uh, some haze from some of our cameras here this morning, especially our Barry Law ca camera does a great job of showing this because there were some brush fires in the area throughout this weekend, and you can see a lot of that kind of still lingering in the area. So you may smell a little bit of smoke as you first step out the door this morning, but uh, air quality index across uh, at least Lincoln and much of eastern Nebraska is still faring fairly well. You'll just, just kind of see it in the distance starting out the day today. Depending on where you're at, a mild start to Wednesday as well. 43 degrees right now in Nebraska City, still hanging around the upper 40s here in Lincoln. 45 down towards Fall City, just some of the cooler air kind of sitting in between here in the Tri-Cities with York dipping into the upper 30s, lower 30s towards Columbus. Statewide, 30s and 40s very plentiful. 43 in Broken Bow, 36 in Valentine, and conditions are pretty quiet with calm winds in several locations. Winds generally less than 10 miles per hour and everywhere except Ogallala that you can see has a northwest wind at this point. We are going to be watching for a bit of a wind shift with a passing boundary today, but it is a weak one. Limited moisture with that, but we may see a spot shower that we'll be talking about that. Right now, this is kind of where that boundary sits. You can see some cloud cover associated with it. Meanwhile, much of eastern and southeast Nebraska pretty cloud free. Going to zoom out this picture again because there is another active day that we're watching towards the south and east with an active severe thunderstorm watch and an active tornado watch through portions of eastern Texas and into Louisiana. This still, again, pulling a lot of energy that way, keeping us pretty quiet, and that's also limiting the moisture that we may see through much of the afternoon today. So we'll tend to see some clouds move in and out today, so we'll par call it partly cloudy to mostly sunny, but you'll notice some clouds streaming in from the south. Meanwhile, that passing boundary is moving from northwest down to the south and east, and that may spark a spot shower. Would not produce a whole lot. That's late this afternoon into the evening, and then we'll actually see a clearing trend going into tonight. So We'll still be mild today despite all this and despite a wind shift. High is going to be in the lower 70s again with uh, partly cloudy and mostly sunny skies. Winds today not all that bad either, around 5 to 15 miles per hour, maybe gusting a little bit stronger as we head into the evening, and especially the overnight hours into tomorrow. Right now at this point, model is showing around 35 to maybe 40 miles per hour possible here in Lincoln for tomorrow. Again, still out of the north and west, so that should drag temperatures down by about 10 degrees going into the day tomorrow. Could see some gusts as high as 40 five miles per hour out to the west where they tend to see some higher wind gusts and there's a fire weather watch at this point through much of eastern Nebraska too. So as you can imagine, dry conditions could see a red flag warning issued through portions of Thursday and for the day tomorrow. But the rest of this week and into this weekend, check out those temperatures, especially Saturday and Sunday, 85 and 86. That's going to come close to records. That first record on Saturday being from 2023 and then Sunday's record being from 1940. That would be an old one and we'd have to get into the lower 90s to break that one. And that's all a strong warm up ahead of some storms possible and a severe potential that we'll be keeping an eye on for early next week. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Jessica.